And a special thanks and shout out to Vintage Masterpiece in Whiteland, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film today. Hello everyone, today we'll be taking an in-depth walk around look at this very unique 1991 Cadillac Brome Miller Meteor 6-door Commodore Limo. And this Brome Limo is in black clear coat, it has the blue velour Primavera cloth interior. And this particular vehicle is rear-wheel drive. It is powered by the 5.7 liter 350 cubic inch overhead valve V8 engine. Creates 175 horsepower at 4,200 RPM. 300 pound-feet of torque at 2,000 RPM. It is mated to GM's 4-speed turbo hydromatic 704R automatic transmission with overdrive. The Cadillac Brome is a line of luxury cars manufactured from 1987 through the 1992 model years. The 1990 model year saw the major facelift that would stay with the car until the end of the production run. Using a commercial chassis, the Brome limo was completed by the Miller Meteor Corporation in the Commodore body style. Utilizing six passenger doors, the seating in this particular limo are more in common with coach cars with three rows of forward seats, each able to seat three passengers for a nine-passenger car. All right, and this vehicle is equipped with the 15-inch steel wheels with chrome-plated wire wheel covers. Sits on 225-75 R15 tires. With an overall length of 260 inches, this six-door limousine rides on a 160-inch wheelbase. And as you can see, the front end is pretty much stock brome with a large amount of chrome trim, glass sealed beam headlamps. You've also got the integrated cornering lamps with the turn indicators. And of course, the iconic front grille with the Cadillac wreath and crest hood ornament. All right, we're going to take a look inside. And inside is pretty much stock brome, has the velour primavera cloth. You've also got a lot of chrome accents as well as the plastic wood trim. Driver side pull, door, pull handles, you've got power windows, power mirrors, and power door lock switches, as well as your power driver and passenger seats mounted on the arm armrest. Chrome door pulls and lighted entry. It's a 40-20-40 split bench seat with the Cadillac wreath embroidered into the seat back. You've also got high adjustable head restraints. As flat as the seats are, they're actually very, very comfortable and very supportive. And of course, the dash has acres of plastic wood trim as well. You've got your wiper controls, lights, cruise control, and as well as your auxiliary heat. Leather wrap, tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And we're going to pan through the interior and show a little more detail. As you can see, nice fluid power steering. Thin rim steering wheel with horn pads. You've got your cruise controls master switch on your steering column. And to do the telescope, it's kind of awkward with one hand, but you unlock the steering wheel from the column. And then you can push or pull to the desired length. And then lock it back in place with the black lock switch. Full digital display on the instrument panel. You have your digital speedometer and fuel gauge, as well as your trip odometer. And going down the center stack, 
you have the Cadillac audio system. It is a tape player. You've also got your automatic climate control with exterior temperature display. Pull out lighter and ash receiver. All right, your center armrest folds up to reveal the third seat. You've also got some storage in your center armrest as well as a fold-out cup holder and coin holder. Looking overhead, you have a manually dimming rear view mirror, two overhead map lights. Right now the bulbs are burned out, but those are your map lights there. And then you have large sun visors with a vanity mirror. All right, let's take a look at the second row seat. The front and second row doors are similar in design, as well as the safety belts hooked into the pillars. The same plastic wood trim with the poles. You have your power window switches, ash receivers, and chrome door handles. This is a full width bench seat with three passenger seating. The seating pattern continues back here with the Cadillac Wreath Crest embroidered. You've also got a fold down center armrest. All right, looking at the third row seat. The third row seat is probably one of the nicer seats in the car. You've got your velour upholstery and plastic wood trim with illumination. The rear most seat has two sliding curtains that clear the third brake light. This seat also seats three across. Two outboard lap belts and a center or center lap belt. You've also got four positional air vents in the rear window, as well as your reading lamps. center armrest folds down out here as well. You've also got large storage pockets in the seat backs.
All right, and opening the trunk is easy. Inside the glove box, you have a yellow trunk release button. Just press that. And as to be expected, the luggage area is very, very large. You have your jacking and instructions mounted to the trunk lid. A large inflatable spare tire with your jack and tools mounted to the side. The luggage area has 19.6 cubic feet of overall storage space. And this does conclude our in-depth walk-around review of this 1991 Cadillac Brome Miller Meteor 6-door limo. We hope the review was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.